the Mad Titan from Marvel Comics, otherwise known as Thanos. He is one of the strongest characters in the Marvel continuity. His quest for the Infinity Gems ultimately led to half of the universe's population being wiped out. He has Death Spear and Gauntlet Power. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, he is currently the last entry in D tier behind Zangief. But even with his placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Thanos a devil on the field of battle? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Thanos' move list from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Thanos' moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Titan Crash. This move is Thanos' dash attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The light punch version travels at a shorter distance. while the Fierce Punch variation moves a bit faster and at full screen range. Both versions of the move only score for one hit. The Titan Crash is a great combo finisher and it can be performed in midair. This move can also be another way to close the distance between Thanos and the opponent. Up next is the attack called the Death Spear. This is the move where Thanos shoots an energy bubble at the opponent. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus any kick button. Both versions of the move have full screen range, with the main difference being that the Fierce Kick version travels at a faster rate. The Death Spear is a projectile but not in the conventional sense. The whole point of the move is to trap and prolong the hit stun. So with this attack, you can use it to extend combos as well. Unfortunately, this move cannot be done in midair. Thanos doesn't dash but he actually runs. Press forward twice and hold it to keep running. Thanos has two normal throws. Press forward and fierce punch for a teleconnected body slam. Press forward and fierce kick for an earth uppercut. Thanos doesn't have any mid-air throws. To do the high kick, Press back and fierce kick. The high kick can actually juggle the enemy and it's possible to follow up with an air combo but it's really hard to connect. This attack is really one of my favorites. Press down plus fierce kick while in mid air to do the knee dive. 
The knee dive is also a faster way for Thanos to get out of the air. Thanos only has one launcher in the game. Press down forward plus fierce punch for the standard launcher. Do it again. Okay. You can do Thanos taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick then press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So, the first hyper I would like to cover is called Gauntlet Power. This is a move where Thanos summons an enormous ball of energy to cast at the opponent. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. The gauntlet of power moves straight, then in an arc but at a higher height if missed. With this fast start up time, this move can be easily comboed into, which makes it quite deadly. There we go. The second hyper combo on the list is called Gauntlet Reality. This is a move where Thanos summons two rock pillars to smash the opponent. To do the attack, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons. This hyper has less damage than gauntlet power, but is also very combo friendly. In order to get the full damage from the move, Make sure to catch the opponent when they're not in the corner. It also served well when juggling. I feel like this hyper is a nice alternative to the gauntlet power and it should be done to keep things interesting. So the next hyper I would like to discuss is called the gauntlet space. This is where Thanos create a portal to hit the opponent with a flurry of rocks. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. This super is great for chip damage and it is best used at close range. But the gauntlet space is not as accurate as the other hypers and it has a habit of missing hits. Due to it having less accuracy than the other supers, this hyper is not as combo friendly. I mean you can still combo into it, but it's definitely harder. So, the final hyper I would like to discuss is called the Gauntlet Soul. This is where Thanos uses his gauntlet to siphon the enemy's life force. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle back plus both kick buttons. This super has great tracking and will catch the opponent as long as they're not full screen distance. But the Gauntlet Soul is less damaging than the other hypers. Because of its precision, this hyper is very combo friendly. Unfortunately, neither this hyper nor the others can be performed in midair. Here are some combos to practice with Thanos. 
tap assist, then dash in with light punch, light kick, fierce kick, quarter circle forward plus bull punch buttons. For combo example two, you want to tap assist, quarter circle forward plus light kick, then dash in with light punch, light kick, fierce kick, quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. Here's what to expect when you use Thanos as an assist character. Thanos Alpha Assist will attack the enemy with a light death spear. His beta assist will use the Fierce Punch Titan Crush. And his gamma assist will perform a launcher. Overall, Thanos is a powerhouse especially when he has meter, but one of the main problems he faces is the fact that he doesn't build meter too well on his own. This is why it's a good idea to have him as a second or anchor partner while the other team members is used as a battery. Also, Thanos size make him a target because of his large frame, but for a character that's big, he moves very fast. He's quite a tank since he can take more punishment than most with his defense and he takes 7% less damage. With that being said, here are some tips to help you play better with Thanos. Use the Death Spear to trap opponents. Also, use this move in tandem with assists and to extend combos. When doing combos, always chain into hyper moves such as Gauntlet Power or the Gauntlet Reality. If you juggle them, finish it with a gauntlet soul. Always try your best to keep Thanos mid-range to close range to the opponent. Thanos doesn't have many zoning options, so it's best to keep close. Always keep the pressure on and use Thanos basic attacks since they all have good range. Whenever using Thanos as an assist, make sure to use the alpha one, which is the death spear. Well, that's it for this week's installment, and like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.